All right, welcome back to your brother's side of 30 minutes. Good morning, Ninja Show. Now, time for us to talk about um, business because you notice sometimes, due to some kind hold up with the day for road, some people they give up. But this Kaja person will get inside the house. If you see the book where they hold, it don't go through all the phases of um, business, whether it's not for musical or not for just name and different one. Him now the founder of Afrima Awards and also African Music Magazine. And in now also the CEO of Big A Entertainment. Now, if you see this kind of person in profile, you're going to say, yes, he don't go through all the others, but still, instead they stand and instead they achieve greatness. Joel me welcome. Adasi Obiago inside the house. Good to have you. And I know so you just come from the abroad, so <laughs> there's a little bit of stress there, but thanks a bunch so you actually come on the show. Now, let's talk about your journey especially being uh, the founder of Afrima Awards, African Music Magazine, and also the CEO of Big A Entertainment. How it don't be for you? Uh, you know, easy now. You know how you be. You know how you be. Mm -hmm. So we just started, just, I just started promoting African music just out of passion. I just they push them, they go, they push them, they go. And I started taking artists from here to Nigeria, taking them to America and doing tours in different cities in America, and then started also doing shows and tours in Canada. I've been doing it right now for 10 years. So the book is more like my story, how it started and where it's going. Mm. Now, where it's going, you know, personally, according to you, talk, you say you beget passion yeah. for exhibiting Nigerian talent to the world. Mm -hmm. And that's why they actually carry some artists from Nigeria, even go abroad to showcase some of the talents where they actually get. Mm -hmm. And I like something for your book. The talk say, his roller coaster ride of experience, they take the reader Anybody will read this book. They take them on a trip from his humble beginnings into the dusty streets of Abba. Yeah. Tell us more about this. Um, I grew up in Abba. I'm, I'm a strong Abba boy. Okay. You know, Abba people, people who grew up in Abba are hustlers. We, it's also we the same material, Abba, Abba made. <laughs> so we don't, we don't ever give up. We have, if, you, if we believe in something, we'll make sure we, we pursue it to the end. So that's my journey through music. It's just, mm. I kept, I kept pushing, I didn't stop. It was really rough at the beginning. Still rough, but it's getting better now. Afrobeat is, you know, getting grounds in America internationally, so now it's, it's a lot easier. But I just wanted people to, un to understand the, the struggle from the beginning and where it is right now. Yeah, you know, first we get passion for music. Now, which you feel say be one of the mistake or some of the mistake where a lot of upcoming artists for the music industry they make? So many mistakes. I mean, like, one of the biggest mistakes is not using the right channel to push their music. There are so many arti upcoming artists here. They're not really hungry. You can tell they're not hungry. They don't, have they don't really have passion for it. They're just doing it for the swag. They're just really doing it just... They're not... You have to be really passionate about it. Most of them, a whole lot of them that I see, I'm talking about the upcoming artists, they don't really put in 110%. But just really, because, because we don't interview a lot of them, mm -hmm. and some of them, we see the passion there, we see the zeal. But these right channels, where they come outside, talk about, no, they even accommodate them. So how can they find these right channels where they go accommodate them? You, you, I, mean, if you, I mean, if you talk that one, like 10 years ago, right now, there are so many channels you can push yeah. your music from. Okay. You can release music now Online. And, and throw it out there in a, from your living room, from your bedroom. Mm -hmm. It's not like what it used to be. They, they have SoundCloud, they have iTunes. Sure. There are so many ways you can promote your music. Right now, you can even run social media ads on social media. Very true. So it's not, nobody can, that, that's not an excuse. Mm. If you're really passionate about your music and you want the whole world to get to hear you, there are so many channels out there right now. I like that. You need to push your music. Yeah. Abeg, uh, tell us more about um, Afrima Awards. I know they come up very soon yeah. in October. Tell us yeah. more. Afrima Awards started 2014. You know, I, I started promoting African music, taking artists from here to America and Canada and doing tours with them. And then at some point, I remember, I remember when BET started, you know, that category, right. the African, mm -hmm. African international art, they weren't giving them the awards on stage. They would bring them in in the morning before the, Very before true. the ceremony. Very true, and give it to them. Exactly. So, and I've been working with this great talented artist. So I was like, it's time to create a platform for us where we celebrate our own. So it's like FUBU, mm. us by us. So that was how we came up with Afrima. And which you qualify an artist to be um, selected as mm, one of the people? We have the committee award. members in different regions in Africa. Okay. So if you're, if you're 
putting in work, if you've put in work within that year in review, you definitely, you, you know who's the biggest artist, the ones that are upcoming in okay. Nigeria right now. So it's not a secret. So the committee members know the ones that drop the song within the year in review, they know how, they, they, they monitor the growth. Mm. So I like that. Now, apart from the fact, say, we go see some kind sample of your passion for music, Waiting person go benefit from this um, book, Crossing Boundaries. Waiting that go benefit again. It's just, I think it's my, my, the reason why I, I wrote the book is just to ins inspire people. Never give up. You know, I, I remember when I started doing this 10 years ago, I didn't know it was going to get to this level. I didn't know it was going to get to where it is today. So, but there, at some point, I was this close to quitting, I get, like a million and ten times. I remember when I started taking artists to America, we go to different cities, we spend all this money, everybody's hopes uh, like way up there you get there nobody at the venue you have like maybe 20 people 30 people 40 people at the venue but now we're selling out shows overseas mm -hmm. so you can whatever you have passion for i mean i'm talking about the right passion just keep pushing one day you're gonna get there mm. so you don't ever um, invite artists overseas and then people don't show up you never get any bad experience like that yeah then yeah but now hardly now afro beats has grown so how you take Andorra then? Because now serious investment yeah, in taking you take them from Nigeria abroad. You how you take Andorra? You take a loss now. It's oh just God. like another business. Sometimes you take a loss. Mm. So, yeah. I like that. So tell us more about the African Music Magazine. Yeah, African Music Magazine is like it's a it's an online music platform where you can go to and see what's happening in Africa musically, where you get to know who's the hottest artist, who dropped which single. Oh, you know, nice. And all of that, yeah. Nice. So how can people have access to that? Ah, it's online, uh, www.africanmusicmag.com. Mm -hmm. And we're also on social media, African Music Mag. So follow them for you to get more of this content, people yeah. waiting for inside the music industry and the kind hits so they don't drop. How people forget your book, Crossing Boundaries with uh, Music. Yeah, it's on Amazon right now. Okay. Yeah, you can order on Amazon and it's in different stores overseas. I'm thinking about doing a proper launch here in December. Good, for sure. Thanks a bunch, say you actually join us inside the house to discuss more concerning your journey in the music industry and also this particular book. Thank you very much. We hope so we will get you another time. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.